Right now it's at 1.94. Projected high price is $5.25. That will be a 170.62% return. If hey guys, tonight I want to pick on a subject which is how to pick a penny stock. And I'm noticing that penny stocks are becoming um, popular more and more these days. So I want to just go through how to pick a penny stock, which is very similar to picking a regular stock. But first, let's tackle what is a penny stock. So what is considered a penny stock? The exact definition of a penny stock varies, but typically they include stocks trading for less than $5 per share all the way down to even fractions of a penny. But usually when people say penny stocks, they're talking about those that trade for less than a dollar. But let's look at it as stocks that are $5 and less. Now, before we jump into this subject, I have to be honest. On my channel, there is a video why I don't buy penny stocks. Because previously... I really didn't buy penny stocks, but something has changed. And if you look at my portfolio these days, it's mostly penny stocks. And I'm going to explain why in a little moment. But first, let's jump into or look at why I was not buying penny stocks before. So here we are at the, we're looking at the 52-week low for today. And the 52-week low is all of the stocks that are at their low price, their annual low price for a particular day. Much of them are going to be very cheap stocks, like you see. A dollar ninety, two eighty five, one hundred five, seventy one, thirty two. So I'm gonna go through a few of them. Let's start with AAMC. I'm here at macrotrends.net. That one doesn't come up, so we'll jump to the next one. The next one is ABCL. That's two dollars and eighty five cents. And I'll go down to the income statement. And let's look at the earnings per share on the income statement. 2019 is negative 0.1 cents. 2020 is 45 cents. 2021 is 48 cents. 2022 is 50 cents. 2023 is negative 51 cents. So out of these five years, this company lost money for two of them. They lost 2,211,000 in 2019 and 146,398,000 in 2023. Let's go to AEON. Let's see if that one comes up. One doesn't come up. AGMH. That's 71 cents a share. And when we look at that one, it 
in 2019 negative 7 cents 2020 negative 5 cents 2023 negative 31 cents the other two years they made a little 17 cents and 47 cents now consider even though these stocks are called penny stocks in 2019 this company made 330,000 and that year after paying all expenses they lost 1 million five hundred and sixty three thousand so they lost money three out of the five years I've had people come to me and talk to me about stocks they bought maybe they were marijuana or other types of industries and so forth and as soon as they're telling me about the company and how great the company is the first thing I do is go to macro trends put in the ticker and I do this simple check and what I find is for many of these companies that these people are telling me about the company lost money for the last five years now when you buy stocks you're basically just buying a share of a company and if you're buying a share of a company that's lost money for the last five years i would say you're not doing a very good job of picking the companies that you're buying so having said that i told you now i've sort of had a turnaround with penny stocks i'm holding a few of them now but there's a reason why i'm holding a few of them now and i'm gonna show you that right now i'm gonna come here And this is the Stock Sage app. Now, what does the Stock Sage app do? The Stock Sage app checks the 52 week low every day and it looks for stocks that have at least three years of positive earnings in the last five years, three or more. And it has other filters as well so we're gonna go through some of those filters first if i'm seeing the low prices i can already tell it's a penny stock this one zero no gain no loss but in 2020 they made 31 cents 2021 negative six cents but 2022 13 cents 2023 13 cents i'm gonna click on that company click on the ticker symbol and get a closer look we see the earnings is 12 cents this stock is $4.40. But if we take a look at it, the profit margin 0.52% in 2020. 18.91% in 2020. I'm, I'm sorry, 0.52% in 2019. 18.91% in 2020. 
21 was a negative year. But 4.19% in 2022, 4.15% in 2023. Return on equity, 1.47 in 2019, 50.94 in 2020. 2021 was a negative year, but 6.88 in 2022. 6.01 in 2023, and the debt to equity under 100 for all five years, which means this company has a pretty healthy balance sheet. So if you are into penny stocks, using the app, now this is not a penny stock that I would get per se. But if you're into penny stocks, you're going to find much more healthy options by getting this app. I can choose stocks with a strong balance sheet, three or more years of stock buybacks, And let's see which ones are likely to be penny stocks. D Local Limited. We only have three years of information here for D Local Limited. But this stock is at $7.48 a share. And let's look at their profit margins. 28.22% in 2019. 27.06% in 2020. 31.9% in 2021, 25.94% in 2022, and 22.91% in 2023. Debt to equity, 226.03 in 2019. 344.98% in 2020, but 107.99 in 2021, 106.77 in 2022, and 138.30 in 2023. So, their current assets exceed their current liabilities all five years. Total assets exceed total liabilities, which make for a healthy balance sheet. They don't give a dividend, and they have decent free cash flow for a small company for all five years. So here we have a pretty decent here we have a pretty decent penny stock now I'm gonna go to Yahoo Finance type in the ticker symbol and let's get Yahoo Finance's estimate on how far the stock can move up and Yahoo Finance says this stock can move up to $14.50 in the next 12 months. I'm going to type that in here. $14.50. The current price is $7.48. And that would be a 
if it moves up to $14.50 in the next 12 months, that will be a 93.85% return on your money in 12 months. So, with the assistance of this app, now you're able to find the same thing that you're looking for when you look for any stock. You're looking for a fundamentally sound company. And now you're able to use this app to narrow down, go through the entire 52-week low and find fundamentally sound companies. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, we have Kentucky First Federal Bank Corp. Actually, they their negative earnings this year. So we're going to go back and let's look at Urban One. Urban One. Current price is $1.94. Up here at the top, it tells you what they do. Media, radio. This is a company that's a $1.94 share. Earnings per share is so projected this year so far. It's $0.25 cents a share. Now, in 2019, the low price of the stock was $1.72, high price $3.28. That was a 90.7% return. 2020, I don't know what happened there, but the low price, 95 cents high price, $54.16. Remember that was COVID lockdown year. That was a 5,601.05% return. 2021, low price $4.05, high price $24.16. That was a 496.54% return. 2022, Low price three dollars and seventy three cents, high price thirteen dollars and nineteen cents. That was a two hundred and fifty three point sixty two percent return. Twenty twenty three low price three dollars and forty seven cents, high price eight dollars and four cents. That was a hundred and thirty one point seventy percent return. And so far this year. Well, let's just start from the current price. The low price was a dollar eighty-eight, but we're gonna bring it up. Right now, it's at one point ninety-four. Projected high price is five dollars and twenty-five cents. That will be a hundred and seventy point sixty-two percent return if it happens. So, looking at the profit margins. 0 0.47% in 2019, it was negative in 2020, but 8.33% in 2021, 7.09% in 2022, and 0.43% in 2023. The balance sheet is not that great. We see the debt to equity is sort of high. But as far as return on equity in 2019, 11.2. 2020, 
2020 was negative 3.51. 2021, 14.48. 2022, 10.29. And 2023.75. Now, the debt, like I said, the balance sheet is not that great. But what we do see on the balance sheet is that current assets exceed current liabilities for all five years. And total assets exceed or are equal with total liabilities for all five years. They haven't paid a dividend in the last four years. And they've been actually it's been a battle. In 2019, they bought back more shares of stock, which we always love. But in 2020, they sold more shares, which we don't like. In 2021, they sold more shares. And in 2022 and 2023, they bought back more shares. And we see they have decent free cash flow. We see Alfred C. Liggins, born 1965, is the CEO of Urban One. And Urban One is in the broadcasting industry, communication services sector. So, with this app, We are able to, we, we already start off on an up note because the app filters out all the stocks at the 52 week low that have more than two years of negative earnings in the last five years. On top of that, we're able to do even more filters to make sure that we get fundamentally sound companies. Notice when I turn on all filters, stock buybacks all five years, current assets exceeding current liabilities and greater than 10% profit margin. Now it narrows that long list down to two companies. And if among these stocks, there were those with 4% dividend yields, we could get those two. But in this case, it's just one. Diamond Hill Investment Group. Profit margins. 43%, 30%, 40%, 26%, 30%, and 30% for the last five years. Return on equity, 45, 21, 40, 24, and 26. And debt equity all under 100 current assets exceeding current liabilities, total assets exceeding total liabilities, a free cash flow. Let's look and see what the dividend yield is. Dividend yield is 4.23%. Now, if there's any issue I would have with this company, it would be that the earnings per share 
is sort of decreasing over the years. But in 2022, it was 13.01. 2023 it was 14.32 and 20 and so far in 2024 it's 14.73 and this is a hundred and forty one dollar and ninety two cents company but like I said generally if you're looking for penny stocks you can look at those earnings per share and if you're seeing small earnings per share 15 cent 30 cent 51 cent 54 cents 55 cents that's usually going to end up being a penny stock or a very small stock well in this case of steven auto it's 16 dollars and 93 cents but generally, if it's in that penny range for the earnings per share, those can come out to be penny stocks. See if I see another one. Oh, here's one, Tatron. $2.64. Profit margin, 8%, 20%, 23%, 38%, and 30%. Return on equity, 4%, 10%, 13%, 19%, and 10%. And the debt to equity, very small, which means this company has a very healthy balance sheet. So, to summarize what I was saying before, I don't like buying penny stocks because the search to find them is too complicated there are so many stocks small stocks out there that are losing money almost every year however with the use of the stock sage app which does the searching for you now those Healthy, fundamentally sound penny stocks are right there at your fingertips. In any event, Stock Sage can be found at StockSageSoftware.com and this app is just $129 a year, not a month. $129 a year for those who are serious about their penny stocks and they want to buy fundamentally sound companies that are going to move up. In any event, have a great night, guys, and I'll speak to you in the next video.